I think people know that I'm open to that. Calling from a 509 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Um, hello? Hello? Is this, is this me? Yes. Hello? Hi. Oh, hi. Um, Sam, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is Brett. I'm calling here with my wife, Heather. Um, <laughs> you have... <laughs> You have uh, disparaged us for several years now. I've <laughs> kept my mouth shut um, because I'm an idea. I'm an ideas guy. Right. Um, we should just say that you have a horsehead podcast, right? It's <laughs> dark horse. Oh, dark horse. Dark horse. Right. Correct. Has nothing to do with ivermectin. I should say. <laughs> okay. I mean, that seems and like other than <laughs> something to <laughs> get out of the way, right? Okay, keep going. Right, good thing you said that. That, that part was a coincidence. But I just want to say, you can say what you will about me and about my wife, okay. but you keep Joe Rogan's name out of your filthy mouth, okay? <laughs> he is, he is my best friend, and he is maybe the most important man ever to have lived on this or any other planet. Wait, wait, wait a second. First off, I, 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 I'm a little bit skeptical about him being your best friend, but even if that was the case, <laughs> why, what, what makes him the most important person to have ever lived, let's just say this planet, never mind other planets? Sam, I want to talk to you about history, okay? <laughs> you... Sorry? Uh, do you understand how the Declaration of Independence was written? I, okay, a lot of people I think, think so. this was... A lot of people think that... The advertising campaign... Um, I mean, on and on and on. The, the, who knows what uh, what we're going to end up seeing? Person to have ever lived. Let's just say this planet. Never mind other planets. Sam, I want to talk to you about history. Bang. Uh, let, me, let me just get let me back that. Let's 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 let's, let's, let's not we get just hot. one, not just one, but two. So there's going to be all kinds of fucking on this. Oh, big yeah. ass but, but what if? That's fucking well, lit. But let's dude. just use this this thing with 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 Noah just as an example, <laughs> because you'll concede that. Sorry, sorry. The Joe Rogan of the Old Testament. Please. Yeah. Right. Okay. Call him by You'll his concede, real name. Noah, the Joe Rogan of the Old Testament. You'll concede that. Joe Rogan of present day gets things wrong, correct? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Joe Rogan himself has said, I get things wrong. In fact, he, there was some quote in an interview recently where he said, like, if you're listening to me for medical advice, you got you to gotta, you get your head screwed on, right? Because I'm wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. So let's assume the Joe Rogan of the Old Testament or Noah as others know him had come up with the idea of like you know what dude no if we have one of every species we can get more species on and that's what they huh. did and then that would that would have been that what, what would have happened then I kind of lost you there if I'm, if I'm being totally honest I, I don't know that I followed I'm saying where you if, going if Joe Rogan what I'll say is, is capable of making this, a mistake wouldn't have been a problem if you're saying he was the Joe Rogan of his time w w what? how do we get the right answer as opposed to the wrong answer which seems to be you know Rogan at least half the time on some of these very important issues well let's just be clear about something okay Joe Rogan may or may not have made a mistake in the past. I'm not saying that he hasn't made a mistake. I'm just saying it's it seems possible. like he did, though. But. It's possible that he's never made a mistake. <laughs> and then actually, what's that question here is our understanding of even the word mistake right? and where this <laughs> word comes from and how it's constructed and how it's interpreted. And again, I'm not saying. Oh, that's not what I'm saying. 
I'm just, but it's an interesting question. And if we go where it takes us, I think it's really fascinating. Wait, so, really so very you're saying it's not, wait, I just want to be clear here. You're saying you're not making any statement as to whether Joe Rogan has made a mistake, <laughs> no. but maybe we're all wrong in our, con our conception of just the concept of mistake. Ex what are words if nothing but the, the very bindings that hold us <laughs> to interpretations that we might not even begin to understand is what I'm Joe Rogan works in mysterious ways and so when he says when he says I've made a mistake what we have to be very careful we have to be so very careful about the words and how we hear them and how they are meant to be received because again we don't always understand what it is Joe Rogan wants for us as his disciples <laughs> and his followers. And so, again, I am not saying the man is perfect. I would, I, of course, I would never say such a thing, but it would be really interesting if we could take a closer look at that. And maybe that's where it in, indeed would take us if we were willing to ask the hard questions. And what I'm finding is, boy, you start to ask those tough questions and all of a sudden, the Jews start asking a lot of questions <laughs> and start coming after you. Did I say the Jews out loud? <laughs> um, Brett, really appreciate you calling in, uh, but you did, yeah. Okay. Uh, fire Matt Leach, by the way. Okay. I, w I think there are two things that we need to add to cap this off, though. I will try to keep them brief. Okay. <laughs> The first point I wanted to make, uh, many will remember that Matt Letch and I had a confrontation. I said that he needed to apologize, but upon looking at the evidence in this case, I think my sense is actually that I, um, I must own up to the fact that it is, uh, was me specifically that needed to apologize uh, to a majority report. And almost certainly, Matt Letch, Matt, Matt Letch, Letch, Matt Letch, Letch. Okay, <laughs> I now feel that issue is clear enough. Nonetheless, uh, final thing. My basic point would be this. There's something that needs to be said here. Referring <laughs> to the straw manning of Dark Horse, in this case, me specifically, and almost certainly anybody in the adult world from... Sam Harris. Uh, okay, I don't want to hear any more of this garbage. So, how did I end up in this spot? <laughs> My point here is really, I know Sam would never intentionally straw man uh, another person, but uh, I must say it took me a long time to figure out that Sam has found himself straw manning everybody in the adult world. And uh, I must say there are nightly attacks. That is what we are playing with. And this strikes me as insane. There's something that is distorting our ability to understand what the evidence actually implies in a direction from which we will not recover because Sam shows up drunk to make the podcast he released where Sam is uh, struggling to make Excuse a, me, can I interrupt a, a for one moment? Of what we've been doing. That should tell you something. Can I, uh, can I interrupt for one second? Know, this person does not... I am going to beg you to email and tell me what program you're using uh, and how you did this. That was... I just want to say apology accepted, Brett. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it takes a very Final big man. Thing. What has gone on with uh, Sam is uh, uh, at least a, um, uh, you know, I don't know how to say it more gently, a danger to the republic. <laughs> I say that because any honest broker, if it's me specifically, for <laughs> an all-black militia group, upon looking at the evidence, somebody um, as capable as Sam must own up to the fact that he has ended up somewhere that should cause all of us to be scratching our heads. <laughs> Sam is 
uh, insane. He has no integrity. The podcast he released is uh, not in the adult world. It is painting a target on us that was foreseeably going to end in violence against us on totally false pretenses. <laughs> and then um, what he doesn't do is say it to our fucking faces. Okay. I'm not... <laughs> angry at Sam. I'm not even hurt. I want Sam to see that, that my point here is really, I want Sam to apologize, and I'm actually not fucking around in this case uh, on this logical map. And that is actually the required action unless something utterly extraordinary happens. I have held my fire because Sam is, was a friend, but I don't want to hear any more of this garbage. I never wanted him canceled, but the straw manning okay. of All Dark right. Horse seems to me specifically to be justification for a cancellation. He needs to be canceled. But anyway, <laughs> if you describe it as cancel culture, that's your failure. Oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button.